guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. So today, if you have not already read the title, I have a successful twist out tutorial for you guys. I know a couple of months back, I posted a failed twist out into a bomb puff tutorial. And a lot of you guys were saying that my twist out turned out perfectly fine. And I was like, where like it was horrible and this was the look that I was going for and I finally achieved it thankfully I switched up the products that I used and honestly this was this is clutch like this stuff helped me to achieve this twist out. I'm not even joking so a little bit of this you know of course I use my curl enhancing smoothie and my um, Cantu leave-in conditioner but I use that all the time but that T-Gin fire so that's pretty much the only thing that I did differently and of course I let my hair dry longer than seven hours so this is the result um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions other than that I will see you guys in my next video Bye. so for this style I am gonna be starting off on freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. Um, I'm gonna split my hair into four sections and then just clip each part away. So I'm gonna do the regular, spritz my hair with water, put in my leave-in conditioner, make sure I get that in my hair really, really well. I'm also gonna follow up with my curl enhancing smoothie, get that in my hair as well. And then I'm gonna split my hair into a smaller section in the back and then begin to detangle. And then I'm gonna use my T-Gin Twist and Define Cream. Yes, this cream was everything. And then I'm, I split my hair into a smaller section and then I'm gonna begin twisting. So to twist, I'm just taking two pieces of that smaller section and then I'm kind of twisting them in between my fingers and then wrapping them around each other. And I'm gonna do that all the way down until I get to the end. At the end of my hair, I'm gonna use my Eco Styler Gel and coil my hair around my fingers so that the twists stay in place. Now I'm just gonna do the same exact thing with this section as well and throughout the rest of my hair. So this is what the first half of the back section looks like. I did, I believe, 10 twists in this part and then I'm going to continue on to do the rest of my hair as well. Same exact process, I put the T-Gin Twist and Define Cream, my curl enhancing smoothie and my leave-in and then I'm just twisting until I get to the tip and then I'm going to use my Eco Styler Gel to coil it around my fingers just to make sure the twists stay in place and I'm going to continue again to do that throughout the rest of my hair. Okay, so it is the very next morning. I let my twist dry for about 24 hours. So now what I'm gonna do is use my coconut oil and put that on my hands and just kind of get it through my hair. And what coconut oil does is it reduces frizziness as much as possible. I'm not gonna say there is no frizz in my hair while I'm taking out the twists, but it helps to reduce it just a little bit. So what you see me doing here is twisting my twists in the opposite direction of what I originally twisted them in, and then I'm just going to pull it apart. So half of my head is officially all twisted out. Um, these are what the twists look like. If you wanna leave it like this, you certainly can. 
but I'm gonna take it a step further and just separate my twists a little bit more. And to do that, I'm gonna give you a close up in a second, but I'm just pulling my twists apart where they naturally come apart and I'm putting coconut oil on my fingers each time. So here you can see, I'm just kind of finding where my twists separate and then retwisting them or recoiling them back around my fingers so that they can um, remain curly and reduce frizziness. But like watch what I'm doing here, you can kind of see where the twists naturally want to separate. So don't force it, if they don't want to separate, just leave it that way. But if you can find where they do separate, go ahead and pull them apart and then coil them back around your finger just to create a little more volume. So here's just a little comparison. I have the by Felicia's on one side and the hair twisted out on the other. And I went ahead and fast forwarded for you guys. This is what it looks like completely twisted out and separated. I do have some frizz, but that's okay. Um, do not put your hands in your hair as much as I'm doing because that definitely adds to frizz. But this is what my hair is looking like right now. And just to top off the look, I'm gonna add some extra volume and pick out my roots. And that's pretty much the final look, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.